wondering, you know, should we try to get out of town? But whichever way we go, we're going to get stuck. And, uh, so you were here and you were on your attic? Mm -hmm. I put my mom in the attic and I had water come up, come up to here inside the house, about 24 inches. So we just hunkered down. I tried to pick up what I could. It's just me and my 74-year-old mom. Came up to about here. Hurricane Harvey left thousands without shelter, without clothes, and without food. What do you feel like you've needed most? Food. Food I haven't eaten uh, since yesterday. We tried to go get food last night. Everything was closed. And uh, everything was wasted here. Award-winning chef Richard Knight is the co-founder of a kitchen collective that's feeding over 20,000 flood victims and first responders a day. There's all these people with no food and they're going hungry and all the restaurants are shut. So I was just like, well, I'm a restaurant guy. I know most restaurant people in this, in this town. I'm like, okay guys, you've got whole coolers full of food. They're just sitting there. The power hasn't gone out. So if you can get to your restaurant safely, get to your restaurants, start cooking, and get your asses in gear, basically. With the help of social media, Richard, his wife, and a crew of volunteers enlisted 30-plus local restaurants and chefs to mass-produce high-quality meals and distribute them all across East Texas. Chefs like Adam Doris, who spends his mornings preparing thousands of free meals for those in need before opening the doors of his farm-to-table restaurant to the public. I think we're, you know, we're doing 15 or 20,000 meals a day independently, you know, without any sort of assistance, which is awesome. I heard from Robert Knight that you've been working a lot with their Kitchen Collective. Can you tell me about how you heard about what they were doing? I put out a, a message on Facebook and was like, hey, I got this food, what can, what can we do? And Richard was really trying to get everything distributed. Have you seen any of the people or families or shelters or churches that your food is going to? I have not. I've been here, you know. Um, you know, my skill set is cooking, and we can, you know, bust out a lot of food every day, and that's what we'll do. If we can do this, you know, we'll do this every day until it's no longer needed. And if we can feed 400 people, and somebody else can feed 400 people, and somebody else can, you know, we all can do a little bit each day, it'll go a long way. The meals are distributed by volunteers to hospitals, rescue centers, and churches like Second Baptist Church, where Pastor Alex Marin has set up a makeshift shelter for his community. The food is great because some of them can't cook yet because they're too busy cleaning their houses. There's already mold building up, so it's not safe for them to cook there. So when you get meals that are prepared or even sandwiches or, or dry food, it, it really helps them out because uh, they really can't do that for themselves. Even though the storm's not here, the sun's out, but it's just, they need the help. This is where we're staying. So right now it's just me and my mom here. My bunk, her bunk. For Scotty Hernandez, a warm meal is a step in the right direction. I'm just going day by day. Just day by day. I don't know what's coming tomorrow, and I know tomorrow will come, and just it will come. That's how I live my life. Huh, Mama? Tomorrow will come. Uh, ladies, that corn can go in also. We're industry, this is what our job is. We serve people, we, we take care of people. We're all about service, service industry. Everybody's saying, okay, chef, what can we do? And then that's, I'm just very, sorry. <laughs> sorry, it's been a very long week. You know, all I can do is like, do my thing do what I do to help other people and if I'm lucky I'm lucky enough to be in the profession of feeding people and I am available and I can do it and I'm here and so I'm gonna do it. <laughs>